And today, you've come to the right place. Hallelujah. Psalms 103, verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Amen. That ought to make you feel like a prince and a princess. Amen. Hallelujah. He crowneth us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfy thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. I don't know how you feel today, but I just feel like I, I, would not, I don't know where I'd be without the Lord. Amen. I probably wouldn't be here, neither would you. Amen. Praise God. God is so good to us. We want to just lift our hands. Why don't we close our eyes for a moment? Amen. And just begin to worship Him and love Him. Amen. And show Him our dedication right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we love you, God. We thank you so much. God, we thank you, Lord, for the power of your Spirit. We thank you, Lord, God, for the privilege, God, to become sons and daughters of the King of kings and Lord of lords. We thank you, Lord God, though we were your enemies, God, you brought us in, you died for us, you laid your life down. Oh, God, we thank you for the many blessings and benefits. But right now, God, we want to bless you, God. We want to worship you. We want to lift you up. We want to magnify and exalt you, Lord God. Oh, with all our our hearts right now, let's do that together in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we love you, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, let's love him. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, there's a God in us. Great place 
Aleluia. Oh, aleluia. I'm safe. Aleluia. I'm delivered. I'm set free. Aleluia. No more chains binding me. Aleluia. Aleluia. Do you love the Lord? Are you free in the name of Jesus? Aleluia. I'm not who I used to be. Amen. Can I get a witness in the house? Oh, I'm not who I used to be. Praise God. You can be seated in the name of Jesus. Just praise God. Praise such a wonderful spirit of the Lord in this place. Amen. I just want to be very sensitive to what God wants to do in this place. You know, sometimes we get into the spirit of worship and praise and then we begin to sing and then something begins to happen and moments in our lives begin to happen and take place where if we'll just wait on God, God can begin to do things that no man can do. I said that God could do things that no man can do if we'll let it happen. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, come on, let's let it happen today. Amen? I came to be touched. I came to be changed. I came to be delivered. And we're so grateful. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer right now. Let me take out the prayer. I don't say the prayer machine, but a wonderful technique. You can laugh. It's all right. I don't want to get a competition if you have an iPhone, a Samsung, and all that kind of stuff. Amen? That's carnal, right? Amen. Amen. But I like iPhone. Just <laughs> We're not here to advertise. Amen. Just tell them Jesus sent you. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Now I'm in the wrong place here. Thank you, Sister Christ. I'm going to make sure I don't forget that. Amen. All right. Praise God. Everybody ready to pray? Praise the Lord. Okay. Sister Beata, we'd like to pray for two unspoken needs and for strength and wisdom that God helps us to be able to live and meet normally again. Amen. Amen. I know some of you don't believe it's going to happen, but I'm telling you, it's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to Thank you, Brother Frank. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I do believe that it's going to happen. Amen, man. Thank you, Jesus, for his blessings at work this week and for restoration in my life. Amen. Brother Will, the Vildega family, uh, hallelujah for God's blessings for pastor and leadership we'd like to pray for. And this is a testimony. This is not just for them. This is actually for the whole church. Thank you, Jesus, for protection from corona all the time. We are so very grateful and thankful. Amen. I know some of us have had to go through the procedure of quarantine, amen, but God has truly kept us. So thank you for all the blessings every day, every hour, every second. Oh, yeah, every second. Brother Alexander would like to pray for my uncle, uh, Pepe. He will have a surgery on his heart valve and pray for healing and for comfort, Comfort, and we sure will do that. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Where is Sister Beati at? You're behind me. Sister Beati, I want to tell you something right now that the Lord just wants me to tell you that how much that he appreciates your faithfulness all of these years. Amen. And the faithfulness continue in prayer and steadfast in your life and your walk with God. Amen. I know a lot of times there's times where maybe people don't see certain things that you've done and you think, but this church is a church because of many people, but one of them is you. Amen. And I, I am grateful and I'm thankful because before I got here, God already had you in this church. And I want you to know, and the Lord wants you to know that he surely appreciates it. We do appreciate your faithfulness to the Lord and all that you're doing. Whether, whether you've been in down, you've been up. But I'll tell you one thing. This woman loves the Lord. She loves the Lord. And you cannot put a price. You cannot put a price tag on that. So we want to make sure we just want to appreciate Sister Beata. Thank you very much. It's not in here, but I just feel like God would have me to say that to you in the name of Jesus. The devil's a liar, and the Lord is truth. Amen. We're going to have our, our uh, elders come, and Pastor Vi, if you'd like to come, if you'd like to join them. Uh, ask everyone, to. we're going to pray for you. If you have a need in your body, amen, you have an urgent prayer request, we want to go around and we want to pray for you. Please signify to our elders, our preachers, please, so we don't miss anybody. Sometimes that happens, and we surely don't want to miss somebody in the name of Jesus. In the meantime, the rest of you, I want to ask the rest of you, let's take this time to pray together. Let's bind together. These needs are very important. And we really don't know sometimes what we're all going through. Amen. But I need someone to pray for me. And if you'd like to join us, you may do that in the name of Jesus. Let's do that right now in the name of Jesus. Let's take a moment. Father, we love you, God. We thank you, Jesus. You're so wonderful. You're so worthy. 
God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to work. We ask you to minister, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We bring all these needs before you, God. Lord Jesus, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah, to touch this to be out in a special way, God. Meet these unspoken needs, Lord God. I'm sure there are others, oh God. And Lord Jesus, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus to give her strength and to give her wisdom, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh Lord God, that help us, Lord, that we'll be able to live and to meet normal again, Lord Jesus. Lord God, you know how long these restrictions need to be. And God, we just put it all in your hands. We're thankful, Lord God, for the blessings at her work this week and the restoration that you're doing in her life. God, we ask you to keep blessings, Lord God, for the leadership, for the pastor of this church, God, and all the saints of God. Hallelujah. All our guests, oh Lord. God, we thank you, Lord, for the protection, Lord God, from Corona this time. We thank you, Lord God, that you bless us and allow us still to meet and have the freedom and liberty to meet in the house of the Lord. God, we thank you for it. We ask you right now to touch Brother Alexandra's uncle, Uncle Pepe, Lord Jesus, right now. He's going to have a surgery in his heart, oh God, his heart valve. And God, we're asking you, Lord God, to bless this surgery, Lord, to do a miracle of healing, oh God, Lord. Perhaps that he wouldn't even need this, oh Lord God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, God, work in a special way, God. Bring quick healing, God. Bring quick comfort and deliverance, oh Lord, and salvation, oh Lord God. Every step of the way, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, God, we ask you right now, in the name of Jesus, God, to work in a special way. Touch this to Alexandra, Lord God. Oh, that's been struggling with this pain she's having in her feet. I command this pain right now to go from your feet right now. I curse this pain right now. I command this pain to leave in the name of Jesus. Oh, I speak healing into your body right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, this is your moment of opportunity. Don't miss it right now. Lift up your voice. God, I need you, Lord. Oh, all those that are watching right now, bless them online, God. I'm sure there's needs there, God. Work in a special way, Lord. Restore every family, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Touch Gabriel. Oh, and Kemi and their family in a special way, oh God. Minister to their needs right now, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God, we're not wasting time, God. We need you to work, God. Oh, do only what you can do, Lord God. Shut the mouth of the enemy that would lie, God. Hallelujah, God. We're believing you for greater things, Lord, in this country, in our city, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, we need you today, Lord. Right now, oh Lord, hallelujah. Oh, come on, let someone right now just offer thanksgiving to the Lord in your own special way. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for answered prayer. We thank you that you've heard your people. We thank you, oh God, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, he said, if my people who are called by my name, oh, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, oh, then will I hear from heaven. Oh, and forgive their sin and heal their land. Oh, God, bring a revival of healing, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus right now, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to right now just lift up your voice. I want us to pray for Germany right now. In the name of Jesus, come on, let's pray right now for the healing of the land. Can we do that? Hallelujah, in the name, in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray for this country right now in the name of Jesus. God, from the north, the south, the east, to the west, let your spirit, Lord God, flow across, O oh God. Open up heaven, O oh Lord. Send down revelation. Send down the rain. Call preachers, God. Call missionaries, God. Call prophets, O oh Lord God. Send teachers, Lord God. Send preachers, Lord God. Send faithful saints, O oh God. Bring them in and use us to bring them into the house of the Lord, God. Oh, create glorious churches in this country, Lord God. Oh, a place of refuge, oh God. A place where people can be born again. A place where truth can prevail, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Everyone said, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. Oh, praise the Lord, hallelujah. 
Oh, this is such a wonderful, wonderful message here. Brother Gabriel, Sister Kemi is here with her newborn, Chidera. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, all the way in the back. Hallelujah, we're so glad to have you. I saw you coming in. I was like, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Teaching their children and the way they should go. So happy to have you. So grateful to see you and hope that everything is going fine. They love the Lord. We're so glad to have you. So we, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Praise God. It's offering time. Amen. It's offering time. Amen. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. Amen. Amen. And we need spiritual blessings. We are very rich. Are you rich? Rich in faith? Amen. I know we think too worldly sometimes. Amen. In, in God's book, I'm rich. In the world's book, I'm crazy. <laughs> right? Maybe. I don't know. what. I don't care. It, we're rich in faith. Amen. Praise God. And today's Mission Sunday, you can be seated if you want. We're going to stand anyway, but however you want to do that. Stand up, sit down, shout, praise God, lift your hands. Amen. And we're going to remember our missionaries, the Azar family in Lebanon. I don't know if you keep up, if you can keep up with them in, um, in the Apostolics of Beirut and look up them up. If not, you can contact, uh, you can let us know. We'll help you find it on Facebook. And what God is filling people, it seems like almost every Sunday, filling people with the Holy Ghost. People are getting baptized in Jesus' name. They have a wonderful school with children there, that they're, and their they're blessings and donations are coming in. I mean, God, it doesn't matter who's preaching, God's just doing it. It's, um, sometimes they have. Uh, People walking off the street. I think I read the other day they had a Muslim man come in right off the street, was, wanted to see what they were doing. Had, they had, he had a Bible study. The preacher had a Bible study. The man of God had a Bible study with him. He got baptized in the name of Jesus. Amen. God is doing something great in that place. And through your support, we can bless. You can be a part of that revival. And for the Adams family that we also support in the wonderful country of Poland, they've been there for a long time. And God, now there's the worship center. They actually have a place where they're doing services. They're doing online. God's working. They've baptized. People are getting the Holy Ghost. So we want to believe that God will continue that growth. And, of course, for the Lewis family in Heidelberg that we're also supporting also, Pastor Krause and Sister Krause's pastor, our former pastor before, in the name of Jesus. And we want to continue to do that today. So, Grant, let's go into our, our bags, our treasures. Amen? Let go of these these temporary treasures and give and support the work of God. Amen. We have a wonderful place of worship here. And so all those things go to these different areas. And I can assure you, I work with the finances, not as much as Sister Kraus does, but I can assure you that these things are not going in our pockets. This is going to the work of God. Amen. And that's important for you to know because there's a lot of people that will trick and and it gets discouraging, and the devil would like to plant seeds in our minds and say, well, why should I do this, or why should I do that? I don't know about y'all, but I'm blessed. I'm, I'm blessed. Amen. And it all belongs to the Lord. So why don't we just stand? Our ushers are coming. We're going to stand. Thank you again. Let's just ask God. We're going to ask Brother Vi, if you would, so kind, sir, just to pray for this offering in the name of Jesus. Hey, come on, it's at least clean. Yeah. Praise the man. Hey, Jesus, we want to thank you that we... Ein Teil davon sein können, Herr, in deinem Reich, Herr, dass wir geben können für dein Lob und Preis, Herr, für die Arbeit, die getan werden muss, Herr. Du kannst es vermehren und du kannst es genau dorthin bringen, Herr, wo es notwendig ist. Wirk du weiter, Herr, mit deinem Geist. Segne die Geschwister, segne jeden, Herr, der gibt, Herr, und du hast es ja schon versprochen. Wir danken dir in Jesu Namen. Amen. Preis Gott. Amen. Let's give it to the Lord with a cheerful heart.
what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing, Lord, in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roar. Up from the earth, hope will arise.
worship God, why don't you lift your hands to him? Come on, somebody. Oh, hallelujah, right now, over this place, right now. Just close your eyes right now. Just focus upon him right now. God, we love you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We honor you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, it's all about you, Jesus. Oh, it's all about you, Lord. Come on, tell the Lord to say, Jesus, we enthrone you. Proclaim, we proclaim you are. Can you say that? Say, Lord, help me get out of the way. Amen. So he can have his way in my life. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful presence of the Lord. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. We don't mind if you respond. If the Lord's touching you to shout, just shout. Amen. We're going to follow the Lord. We're so very, very grateful. So very, very honored to have brother and sister Vi all the way from Mannheim with us. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Pastor Vi and his wife, the pastor of the Mannheim Church. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. And 
We're so very grateful. We're so glad to see you all. Finally see our brothers and sisters again. See them still full of the Holy Ghost. Joy all over their face. Amen. Knowing the Lord's been good. We've all faced some ups and downs. and But that's not all of it, right? Amen. We've had great things that God has done. Things we probably didn't even think were possible. And God has made it possible. This is a wonderful man of God. And Brother Vi and Sister Vi, I want, to, I want to tell you how much we appreciate you very much on behalf of the church. And Brother Vi, I don't know if you remember this. Um, the last time that we were at camp, um, the Lord spoke to you to tell my wife and si- to speak to my wife and I. And you spoke to my wife and I. So we had been going through something for quite a while. And um, it was just the right timing. Amen. You know, this is, this is a thing. You can really see a man of God that will speak something to you. Amen. And the timing is absolutely perfect. Something he, he could not have known. Amen. And God spoke to him. And if he knew the prayers I had been praying before, he would understand why it has meant so much to us. And you encouraged us. And, and you told us that the Lord has spoke to you, that my wife and I have tried it. We've tried this and we've tried that. And we've, we've tried this and... And the Lord just said, you know what, you've tried long enough, now let me try. And you know, listen, that word still encourages me today. In times where I feel, I feel the Holy Ghost, when I've been down, the word of the man of God at that moment that spoke into my life, amen, gave me one word. And I've held on to it for so long, and it's been just a, there was such a release in that moment, Pastor Vi, a release, a burden that fell from my wife and I. Where God was just, there was just like a bridge that just seemed to be built of trust that, that we were able to really trust God with something that is totally really out of our hands. And I want, to, I want you to know I appreciate that very much. Amen. Are you ready for the word of God? Amen. Pastor Vi, we want you to come and have your way. Take your liberty in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let the Lord lead you in Jesus' name. Let's give a hand to the man of God. It's okay. It's okay. Praise the Lord. It's good you are here. Man, what we had a good service today. And it's not over yet. Amen. I want to tell you God can do in five minutes what man can do in hundreds of years. Praise God. We serve a wonderful God. We serve a miracle working God. And uh, praise God. Just Believe in him. Continue to believe it. Praise God. Amen. Because miracles are for believers. Whether they're young or whether they're old, doesn't matter. Praise God. I want to say greetings from the church in Mannheim, from Sasha and Martina, and all the saints and the ains. (laughs) Yes, in-laws and outlaws. (laughs) Yes, so uh, we are excited that we are on the right way. The way with God, and we have a goal, and the goal is heaven. Praise God. This is the greatest journey we have ever walked. Amen. This is the greatest thing that's going on in heaven. Angels can walk this way. Praise God. Amen. But we can, by the grace of God, Hallelujah. I'm so excited to be here today and uh, seeing new faces. I don't want to say old faces. I'm the oldest one probably. <laughs> probably the oldest one in here, but uh, well, doesn't matter. One day all this will pass away and we're going to get a new garment, a new body. Praise God and uh, what, what else, uh, whatever we need, we will we'll have on the other side. Amen. Praise God. When I see you, I see the work of Pastor Kraus. I see the work of Sister Kraus. I see the work of many good men in the church that have become pillars. And uh, God's not finished. God's not finished. There's nobody that can stop the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And what he has done in the be- what he has started... What he has started, what he has started, he will finish it too. So don't be discouraged. 
no matter what man says, the word of God counts. That's the main thing. Praise the Lord, I have a message today. If you want to stand, I just read two verses of scriptures and then we pray shortly. And uh, we're going to go on and pray for me as I minister because uh, I can talk of myself. I do have to bring the word of God. And that's a great responsibility. It's not just a thing you want to, uh, storytelling or something, a fairy tale, but this is the word of God. Amen. And the word is our bread. We need the word every day in our lives. Praise God. I'm going to read Luke, uh, the fifth chapter, verse 12. Look, man, he is fast. King James Version. Oh, no, I got the German Version. Just hold on a second. <laughs> Isn't Yeah, I know, but all my notes are in German. <laughs> I have to... Uh... Hmm. Let me see this. Well, uh, that's okay. I'll read it up there. See, when you get old, you make mistakes. <laughs> but I know God never makes mistakes. Amen. Verse 12, Luke. And it came to pass when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Next verse. And he put forth his hand. See what Jesus does? He put forth his hand and touched him, the leopard man saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. Praise God. My team is only five minutes with Jesus. Also, I'm not going to preach five minutes. I'm trying to preach a little longer. But, uh, yeah, it's not five minutes with Brother Way. It's longer with Brother Way. But it's five minutes with Jesus. Lives can change in five minutes when Jesus is in it. Yeah. And I want to encourage you. I won't say only five minutes of prayer, but I want to say five minutes with Jesus. Amen. You can walk to work. You can walk from work. You can walk to church from church. You can be at church, but he can be in there. Praise God with you. And there he can do great things. Just keep believing in him. You're not supposed to believe in the church or in anybody else, but believing in him. He got to be the first in your life. Praise the Lord. So in these two verses, oh, we want to pray and then we can sit down. Thank you for looking at me. <laughs> Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for being here today. We pray that you would bless us. Amen. Continue with your wonderful spirit to work on us and work in our hearts. For we need you, Lord, every day, God. You are the same forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell him only five minutes with Jesus. Praise God. In these verses that we have read, Luke writes, that uh, the life of that person that had no hope and of course he had no joy, no joy, and that man's life was changed when he began to change when he saw Jesus from afar. Because he, when he heard of Jesus, he went on his way to meet him. But for a leper, it wasn't easy to just get among the crowd. So he sees Jesus and he worships him and he asks him, please, Lord, you can heal me if you will. And the wonderful thing is Jesus touched him and heals him. So if we want to apply this to our lives and ourselves, we have to see Jesus first. We have to, before we ask him something, we have to worship him. We have to give him what he deserves. 
All praise belongs to God. Amen. Amen. And uh, what are we without God? Amen. And so that's what we need to do. Praise God. Hebrews tells us, 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. In eternity, praise God, forever. Forever means from age to age. He's the unchanging God. He's the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He's everything you need, everything I need. Praise God, and He will never change. And this is the wonderful thing about Him, that we can trust Him today and tomorrow and after tomorrow, and He will never change. Praise God. We can believe in Him. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's the same. Five minutes with Jesus. You know that leprosy is high uh, in, in fitzers. I understood potatoes. <laughs> Contagious. Okay, if you don't speak English, this is the word. Yes, it's highly contagious. Yeah. Have you ever seen somebody who had leprosy? No. Oh, Lord, there's one. There's another one. But not in here, I hope. <laughs> Praise God. And so according to the law of Moses, they have to cry out loud, leprosy, leprosy, I'm a leopard, I'm a leopard. Yeah. And they have to warn the people around them where they are, and uh, they have to stay away from them. Yeah. Amen. have to have great distance. But the Bible tells us also that sin is like leprosy. Amen. You don't see it first. It starts small, and then uh, it eats the body up. Everything, your life, your spirit, your soul, destroys the whole person. Sin destroys the whole person. Amen. And he may be in a nice suit, having a tie, even a microphone, <laughs> uh, that you don't see it. You know what I mean? Praise God. Unless uh, there is no sin, then you can see it. Praise God. Okay. What do we see here in the scripture that we have read? We read that the kingdom of God has come nigh. Amen. In the kingdom of God, remember, when we go to the other side, there is no sick person. There is no afflicted person. There is no leprosy and no sin. See, that's why we have to get rid of sin down here so we can live on the other side. That's the main thing people have to strive for, to get free, get filled with the Spirit of God, and always being renewed in the Spirit of God to resist the sin that is around you. Sin is not uh, uh, in a still stand, but that's a spirit that's working, trying to even fight against the church to, uh, yes, to have dominion. But we are stronger. We are stronger with Jesus. Amen. One man with God is stronger than thousands without God. Amen. Amen. And so we see that the doors of heaven went open when Jesus came to earth. Praise God. All the blessings of heaven, the help and the hope, has been given to us since his coming. Praise the Lord. That's good. He has not, from that time on when he came, even today, he has not forsook Forsaken sook his people. He has not. He has not forsaken his people. He is still faithful one. He is still the true one. Amen. And he knows who is looking toward him, for him. And praise God, my sheep hear my voice, he says. Amen. Praise the Lord. He has put out his spirit. Amen. Over us. Amen. And it is the spirit of Jesus that does the miracle in us. And through us, praise God. And this is what the world cannot see. Well, actually, they see the change in us, you know, but they don't understand. Do you see us running around with the Bible to church or uh, just walking in a way? Oh, he doesn't smoke anymore. Huh. Whatever you want to smoke and had smoked before. But uh, God worked a deliverance, and he worked a deliverance in, in my life, praise God, and uh, he can work it, he's the same today, still today he can 
take care of the problem, praise God. He has not forsaken us. He is still continuing, uh, continuing pouring out his spirit on us, on people. Um, there are people in this city that God is working with. They are not here yet, but God's spirit will draw them. Amen. And fill his house. Praise God. What did he say? The, the wedding feast was ready. And then he said, go. Invite this one, this one, this one. That may my house be full. Praise God. He doesn't come back for an empty church. He's coming back for a full house. He's not coming back for a lukewarm church. The church is going to be burning, going to be on fire, going to be excited because the bridegroom is coming. Praise God. He's coming. And the more, the nearer it will get. The cry is getting louder and louder and louder. And there you feel something in the Holy Ghost that Jesus is coming. Praise God. We talked about it in the past for many years. But now it's a, it's a time where uh, it's very difficult, praise God, to look back. But it's a lot easier for us to look forward to his coming, praise God. And I'm so excited, praise God, that I have found this treasure, praise God. And the world is behind me, praise God. I don't need nothing, amen. Not because I'm old, I have an iPhone, yes, I got a computer. But uh, I can live without it, praise God. But I cannot live without Jesus. I can't live without the Holy Ghost, without this hope, praise God. Amen. Just five minutes with Jesus changed my life. Praise God. And we see this here, this man here who has leprosy. And uh, praise God, he sees Jesus down uh, uh, teaching, praise God. And he gets closer and closer to Jesus. And uh, he hears his voice. Praise God. He sees the reaction of the people. He touches people. He touches the blind, speaks to those, and he sees the excitement, and he hears the praises of the people, and his faith begins to build and to build and to build. And the same thing will happen when you have faith, and we have visitors coming to the house of God, and what you speak is faith, faith, faith. I believe it. Jesus can do it. It's no problem. Don't be discouraged. Amen. And so, it's, so this faith began to build in him. And so, you know, he had to keep the distance. But uh, that, that was the law. And we, we try to keep the law. We don't want to be against the law. But this man here, he, he, he had no hope. He, he had leprosy. And it was uh, bad for him. And he tried everything. Of course he tried everything. And so nobody could help him except Jesus. And so what happened, he listened. And when his faith became so strong, he didn't care about the law anymore. He didn't care about distance anymore. He didn't care about himself anymore. And so he pushed his way through the crowd. Somehow he went there bowed himself down. The Bible says he fell on his face. That just doesn't mean he fell, you know. Oh, he's so poor or whatever. But he, he worshipped him. Praise God. It was his, his only thing that he can bring to God. The only thing that you can bring to God. That, that uh, how would I say, influences God? Yes. We, you know, with the offering and, and all these things, that's all material things. But there is something that belongs to God. All praise, all worship, that belongs to him. And that is impressing him, praise God. Oh, he worships me. Oh, she worships me. Oh, and he fell down and worshipped him. With his sins, with his problems, with his habits, with his sickness and disease, with his whole miserable life he had, he had no home. Oh, there are people that come in the house of God that have no hope. They are filled with sin, filled with bad habits, filled to the brim with, with what the world has put in there. Oh, but there's a little bit hope, a little bit hope. And they don't care. I want to be saved. I want to go to heaven. I want to get rid of sin. I want deliverance. You know, and so they come in and you are the ones with the preacher, with the pastor. You need to stay behind them. And then as one unit, 
as one unit, you can help that person, amen, to be delivered, praise God. God will do the rest, amen. There got to be unity. There got to be agreement. There got to be that vision that Jesus had. That man is a sinner. That man is a sinner, amen. And we don't know if the crowd, if the crowd uh, recognized that that was a leper. He may have a long rope, you know, all the way to the ground, long sleeves and hiding his arms and hands. And maybe he had a cape over his head so uh, he wouldn't be recognized so easy. But he, he didn't care. He wanted deliverance. He wanted deliverance. Oh, man, I'm so glad I'm in the house of God. I'm so glad that I have been delivered from sin. I have been delivered from leprosy. Oh, God, I, even though it was so long ago, I st I'm still thankful. I'm still so thankful to the Lord. And so he gave God what belongs to God, and that's our worship. Amen. So he worshipped him. And after he worshipped him, he asked him humbly, praise God, Lord, if you want to, you can heal me. With other words, I'm just a leopard. I have nothing to give you. I can't I can pay you for it. I'm sorry. But if you will, if you will, Lord, you can heal me. He believed God. And Jesus done the wonderful thing. He touched him. And how long has it been that this leopard has been touched by somebody? Only Jesus knew exactly how to build that bridge to this person. Jesus knew how to build a bridge to me. He knows how to build a bridge to you, to come to you. He is ever, forever the same. He is a wonderful Savior. He is a wonderful God. Amen. Amen. And he's still the same. Praise God. And then uh, just another thing I saw in this. My notes, you can forget it. <laughs> my, no, my notes distract me more than <laughs> the spirit. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. There's another thing I can see. You know how we are? If that man, oh, first you got to repent. You got to do this. You got to do this before I do something for you. Jesus never asked him, say, hey, you need to repent first. He didn't. Jesus healed that man without demanding things.